First on the rundown at 530, you may have seen articles circulating about it on your social media feeds, a myopia epidemic. Mm -hmm. More and more people and kids being diagnosed with nearsightedness. Now, a lot of those articles are pointing the finger at the screen time and increased use of digital devices. But is there really an increase in cases and are tablets and smartphones to blame for it? To your side's Emily Lampa put these claims to the verified test. A simple internet search for nearsightedness yields article after article claiming there is a growing myopia epidemic. At the heart of it, they claim screen time, especially among kids, is contributing to this trend. We reached out to optometrist Dr. Katie Del Prince to verify if these concerns are in fact true. I think that might be a little bit alarmist. We're definitely seeing an increase in prevalence, but I don't know if I'd call it an epidemic at this point. Mm -hmm. um, but we're seeing more of it than we have in in the past and that is a little concerning. With smartphones and tablets and kids doing more on screens that parents ask that a lot and I would say that the jury is still out on how much the amount of near work a child does affects their likelihood to become myopic. Simply put, myopia, or nearsightedness, is an eye condition where it's difficult to see things that are far away. In an eye that sees 20-20, or perfect vision, the light from what we're seeing focuses right on the back of the eye. In a person with myopia, the eye is longer, front to back, which means the focal point is slightly off. Light focuses just before the retina, which causes faraway objects to appear blurry. The number one factor um, in contributing to whether or not a child is going to end up with myopia is genetics. Do they have one or two myopic parents? That's huge. Dr. Del Prince says there is also recent research that compares how genetics, how much close work the child does, and how much time they spend outside contributes to nearsightedness. And they actually found that genetics and time spent outside were more influential than the amount of close work the child did. So we can verify that there is an increase in the number of cases of nearsightedness, but what we can't verify is whether or not there is a direct correlation between myopia and time spent on devices like tablets and smartphones. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.